think what's happened in the last couple of years with these benchtop sequencing instruments is there's been kind of a democratization of sequencing. Whereas previously it was all about core facilities having these large sequencing instruments, it's really now about everybody having access to sequencing, either with their own benchtop instrument or as the prices come down of sequencing, having access uh, through a core facility or a sequencing center uh, that, they, that they can get access to. So how has it affected what we're doing? It's really ramped up the demand for our products, our services, and made sure that we have products that are uh, software that is uh, responsive to the needs that are out there. In metagenomics, one is studying bacterial communities that are composed of hundreds, if not thousands, of different species of bacteria, and they're present at all different abundances. So in order to do shotgun sequencing of the rarer ones, and you've got to do it of hundreds of rare ones, you really need to do a lot of sequencing. And before we had next generation sequencing, there was just no way of sequencing a complex bacterial community in toto like this. We did generate um, the Southern African genomes and personally it changed my life because now I work at the J. Craig Venter Institute and I would not have had that opportunity had I not taken that challenge and believed in the technology. Which we're using NGS completely for understanding variation in the human genome and uh, that is really something that wasn't possible realistically until about four years ago and, and the technology's gotten so much better in the last two years that it's probably now approaching the kind of scale that we need to answer the biological problems we're going to answer. I don't think we have seen such a uh, fast pace of science. Um, I think it's all happening because of NGS. We are getting single base pair resolution and I think that's helping us to sequence all the coding, uh, all, each and every base from the exome and I think that's really affecting the bottom line. Uh, we are getting more discoveries and resulting in a very high profile publications. This next sequencing is producing lots and lots of data. Huge files taking up enormous space. Those files need to be well protected, they need to be stored in a large space, they need fast access to those files. For example, we recently did a, a dual, uh, dual site uh, active active data center for the National Cancer Institute. They're able to move their servers and their workloads seamlessly from one site to another, no downtime, still do their sequencing, even in the event of a total power failure at one site. So we've been able to make sure that sequencing can be an always on business. hoping that NGS will have the greatest impact in the next five years is that one, we will start really understanding what the human genome is about. Five years, not long term, but five years is going to be in oncology. I, I think it's clear that the combination of, of the very large amount of funds that has gone into that as well as the, the not only for since the NGS era but before for the understanding of the biology of cancer means that it's going to be a, a relatively rapid translation into a, a clinical use, which you're already seeing. If we take the trends that have been occurring over the last five years, we expect there to be cheaper and cheaper sequencing so that having each person have their genome sequenced will become the same thing as having your blood type taken or any other kind of personal biochemical or genetic information that's routine now. If I were to, to, to look out five years though, I would say it's actually going to get into the clinic. I believe right now we're, we're just beginning to see within the last year or two, the publications, the articles that talk about uh, impact of genomics on, on disease identification and treatment. And I believe that we're going to see a, a dramatic increase in that such that the physicians will actually be pulling sequencing into their clinics within that five-year period. I think NGS is going to have a really big impact in cancer genomics because as we know that uh, cancer is basically the disease of um, uh, genes or um, it's a, a genomics and I think there are significant efforts going on using NGS to elucidate the causes behind cancer. One of our customers may find the cure for cancer, may find cures for many of the things that are afflicting humanity today making for a better world. I mean, this is a very exciting 
cusp of technology we're getting to be on, on the, the edge of something huge for all of humanity. So I think in the next five years, we're really going to see what was said over 10 years ago, that human genomics and next-gen sequencing is going to revolutionize medical research. And uh, I'm excited about being here and being in this field to witness that happen in the next five years. Mm -hmm.